Is that yours? Oh, is this mine? I don't Let me know. check. The keys work? <laughs> oh yeah, this was mine. <laughs> oh! Stanley gang. Give us a cold start. Welcome to my new car! <laughs> That 270 Eco Boost! Very loud. Alright, guys, welcome back to the channel. I feel like I'm going back to my roots here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Demoni, Demoni! <laughs> Demonetizing. I feel like I'm going back to my roots here. It almost looks like a Wrangler, but better. Just kidding. I don't know if it's better. We don't, don't know yet. Me. Don't, we don't shoot know me. Yet. So, if Jimmy. you guys are uh, recent to the channel, I haven't. Uh, there's probably nobody around actually. Comment down below if you're still around from the Wrangler because I highly doubt anyone is. But, Kenny's about to run this chick over. I'm watching. <laughs> but, uh, I actually started this channel when I had a Jeep Wrangler in, oh my god, what year is that, like 2016? Had a Rubicon, did a bunch of off-roading and stuff, modded it. Actually got some pretty good views on those videos, but anyways, oh man, it's hot. Give me some air. Oh, sorry, sorry. Give me some air. Anyways. And, uh, I guess we never went four-wheeling. We went snow-wheeling once. Yes, we went to Yeah, but nothing, it wasn't we went nothing anything crazy. crazy. Yeah, we just went in the snow. And that was pretty much that. I sold the Jeep after that. Got the Hellcat, then trucks, then Mustangs, yeah, and trucks, we, and we Mustangs. we just started dating when y'all went to Moab. Yeah, we, we went to Moab, did Mickey's hot tub and stuff. It was a great time. And then, like, yeah, sold the Jeep shortly after. So anyways, never really had the uh, itch to get back into a Jeep. It was just kind of over that phase. And then when the Broncos came out, man, man, those are sick. Kennedy wanted one, but obviously we couldn't do anything at the time financially. So fast forward, the Broncos have been out now, what, like three or four years? Three years? Four years? I don't know, something like that. And uh, when Kennedy, I told her we can get her a newer car, she was deciding between the Bronco and the S650. The Bronco was already out, so obviously we could have just got it. But she really wanted a Mustang. We had drove, we had test drove a Bronco, a two door, really nice one. Oh my God, the wind noise is terrible in here. <laughs> that is my biggest complaint. I know it's an off road vehicle with a removable hardtop, but my gosh, the road or the wind noise is terrible. We gotta fix that. We're just gonna have to get set. Yeah, fix it. Golly, that's way worse than a Jeep. Um, anyways, <laughs> so she chose the S650, which is a great car. She loves it. We still have it. Don't worry. She still has the S650. Um, but we're kind of bored with it because no tuning is out. Like, we literally can't do anything but cosmetics. So she's wrapped it. She's bagged it. Did the Cook's headers. <clears throat> Stita H-pipe. And uh, we just got some Velgan wheels for it. So maybe we'll do a little bit on that. I don't know. Shout out Dave for my birthday. That was her birthday gift. Uh, so, yeah. So we're... We got bored. We got bored. <laughs> so... We were like, man, it'd be fun to have an off-road vehicle again and uh, like take the dogs with us. And because I used to take Cupcake, my old boxer, uh, four-wheeling all the time. So we're like, man, like it'd be fun just to go every now and then. Go to Colorado, go to Utah, Arizona, and uh, with the Bronco. So we started looking at Broncos, and we are impatient impulse buyers, and we uh, suckered ourselves into a brand new Bronco. I say brand new; it's 2023. So. We also thought it'd be good for the business because we actually, we actually are a dealer for everything you need for the Bronco, like Kings, Fox, Methods, Toyos, Nittos. I don't even know. The list, Addictive Desert Design, I mean, the list goes on. on it's on. crazy, crazy. The market for these is huge. It's crazy. So we decided to get a Bronco and we thought it'd be fun. So we're gonna bring some Bronco content. So anyways, we decided to get the Black Diamond, which is like not, it's not a crazy off-road version because we're gonna change all that stuff, right? So it's kind of pointless, but it's got like a nice removable hard top. It's got a nice screen. It doesn't have the big screen. So to get the big screen, you gotta get like the next model up or all 2024s actually come with the big screen. So it's got like the, I'd say it's like the medium size screen. I don't know what that is, seven inch or something. I don't know. But you don't get like the massive one, which is not a big deal. We don't yeah, really care about that. Um, it's got heated seats. It's, I don't know. It does have like lane assist and all that, which is nice. Yeah. It is the two seven, so we opted for the little bit bigger engine um, with some turb skis on it. It only has a rear locker, no front locker. But when I had my Rubicon, I was telling Kennedy, I only used my front locker one time 
and that was to get out of Mickey's hot tub because I was stuck in there. Tried it three times without the locker, worked the last time with the locker on. But sometimes lockers aren't super reliable. But anyways, um, yeah, I think my only biggest complaint right now is how damn loud it is on the inside. It's pretty. I mean, it's, it's pretty loud. I think it's quieter than my Mustang, so. That's because your Mustang's obnoxious. <laughs> so anyways, it's Kennedy's new car. It's her birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Ken Dog. It's, it's always on tax no, day. No, it's our car. This is the build. It's yeah. our build. It's supposedly. our build. <laughs> but I'll probably be driving it more. I'm going to drive it. <laughs> no, I love daily driving my F-150. I don't know if David has literally okay. turned into an old man. I'm an old man for sure. He only likes his truck now. Trucks are comfy. They're big. No. The new F-150s ride so nice. It's like a sports car with a lot of room. I will never drive Wait till I whipple that thing, too. It's going to be sick. Oh my gosh. I'm talking about my four-door, not my two-door. Um, so, yeah. We just wanted to show you guys the new vehicle. We're pretty excited about it. We got, like, a ton of parts we already want to do to it. Um, so, anyways, currently, if you go on the website, you could search for, like, King Coilovers for Bronco or Fox Coilovers or Fox Shocks or whatever you want they're on there they're just not categorized and that's our biggest problem right now is trying to categorize everything because we have parts for hellcats camaros corvettes everything's on there but categorizing it is what's taking us the longest and it's literally just kennedy and i still doing still it. doing it <laughs> eventually we're gonna expand and hire people sales team and stuff but we're just not quite there yet but we've we've grown a crazy amount so if you're a bot from us thank you so much it's awesome yep. We are uh, growing really fast, which is cool. So, anyways, this is our Bronco. This is going to be the first video. I'm not going to change the whole channel back to an off-roading channel, but I thought it would be cool to throw it here and there. Kennedy's going to do more videos on her channel, most likely, of it. I'm just going to, like, throw little updates here and there. But we are going to mod it. That's why we didn't buy, like, the Wild Track or the Sasquatch. or You pretty much buy those knowing you're not going to change anything. Like, you might change the wheels or something. But, like, like they're badass, but... They're really cool. Why, but, why would we spend that much money when we know we're going to mod it ourselves? Exactly. You know? It's why I always buy, like, base model Mustang or base model trucks. I know I'm going to go crazy with it. So, uh, this thing will be on 40s, uh, Dana 60s, <laughs> <laughs> and some double throwdown coil. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. We got a lot of options. Probably like three inch lift. I want to do some Kings or some Foxes and some 37s for sure. And then maybe later on do like some bumpers, winch, all that good stuff. But it's gonna be really cool. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. We didn't just buy it just for the business to like sell parts and stuff. I mean, it's cool to be able to offer you guys what we can do. But like we thought it'd just honestly be fun to go back to four wheeling is a different kind of fun than racing cars. And you already had your Jeep when we first met. And yeah. so I didn't get to experience that with you. That's true. She never really got to experience it was already done. going to like Moab and all that stuff. Yeah, I think it'd be and really fun. It. So it's going to be a good time. Dave needs a haircut. Dave needs to trim the beard. Yes. Everybody comment, David, get a haircut now. Please, look at this. Hey, and I got gray hairs coming in. Y'all stress me out sometimes. Mm, mm, I like the gray. <laughs> so, so, yeah. 2023 Black Diamond 2.7 Hard Top. Love the Hard Top. The hard Top's sick. Yeah. The only problem on the hard top though is like if we go out of town we can't just take it off. There's nowhere to put the panels. We'll just put Like it you can put the two front panels in the back, but like Well we'll just put the hard top in our Airbnb. That's actually a good point. Go rent an <laughs> or, Airbnb. Or a hotel. Just, I don't know about the hotel. You're gonna walk through the hotel with a freaking huge ass hard top. I don't know if they're gonna allow that. I will say the cool thing, the difference is this is like a four piece hard top removable, whereas like the Jeep is a three piece, so the back piece was always massive to get down. But it was fun in my Jeep, just taking off like these two upper ones and just leaving the back like that. So that's fun as it is too. And then you can put the little nets so you cover the sun. Hell yeah. That's pretty cool. And then, oh, you take the doors off. I used to get, I had foot pegs for mine so you could put your feet out the door. Just hanging out yeah. while we're cruising. God, I hate driving with candy. She drives like shit. Uh, no, I don't guys. <laughs> David is just a control freak and wants to drive himself. He's so. driving crazy. No, so, I don't. anyways, enough babbling. Oh my gosh. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the new vehicle. Comment down below if you're still here from the Jeep Wrangler days. You're probably not, but that would be funny. Follow Kennedy, Kennedy McCall, because she's going to post some more videos. She does post a lot on like Instagram and TikTok if you guys are on yeah, there. Follow me on but those. she really needs to get back on the YouTube thing because not everybody's on. Uh, watch the road, I dude. Am. Dude, yeah. you need to get a little heavier on the brakes here. David, quit. <laughs> oh my God. I need a piece of tape for your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Check us out, coyotedirect.com. If you want to buy Bronco parts, they're technically already on there. We just, it's going to be hard to find them, but we got to organize them. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there.